Hey, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. There are a lot of pieces of jewelry that I would like to show you how to make, but in order to do so, you need to know how to uh, do a little bit of crocheting, not a lot, and just a chain stitch. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I just got a, a bigger hook so you can see what I'm doing and just some cheap acrylic yarn and um, those of you who are experts at uh, crocheting please don't judge <laughs> I'm going to show you the way that is easy for me I do have hand issues they hurt a lot carpal tunnel trigger thumb all kinds of stuff so um, that may be one of the reasons why I kind of do it weird but anyway so First thing you're going to need to do is get the yarn onto your crochet hook and you are going to make what's called a slip knot. So you, you kind of cross it over so you have a loop like this and you let that end fall and then you're going to take your hook and grab it in there and then you're going to pull and you're going to tighten it up onto your hook. If you didn't get that, rewind. That's how I've learned a lot of things on uh, YouTube. I just get on, rewind, pause, and feel free to do that with this video. Okay, so once you do get to this point, you can ch start your chain stitch. All you're going to do is you're going to loop. Now, uh, before we start, notice you have a short end and a long end. Don't mess with the short end. The long end is what you're going to mess with. That's the end that is attached to the big part of it, the ball or the skein. So anyway, you're going to take the long end and you're going to loop it around your hook and then you're going to pull it through that loop there. And that's all there is to it. Loop it around, pull it through the other loop. Loop it around, pull it through. My suggestion is to just go ahead, get you some cheap yarn, a hook, and just practice. Because I will promise you, when you first start out, your stitches are going to look really funky. Some will be big, some will be tight, and you just will need to practice so you can learn your tension. And once you get it down, your stitches will look more uniform. So again, Oh, it turn, go around the hook, pull it through. And just sit and do this. Eventually, you can just sit in front of the TV and just do it. Um, once you get to that point, you'll be able to make some beautiful crochet jewelry. So stay tuned for that. This is Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. I hope you all have a wonderful day.